Hello and welcome to First Person Tutor Creator Reloaded. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and this is um, just a little example just to help show you how easy it is to use the editor to make your actual games. So let's get started. Um, first of all, plus key, increase the size of the terrain editing tool. And we'll go to the terrain tools go to the raisin lower terrain. I'm just going to lower it a teeny bit there. Just a bit, not, not that much. Yeah, that'll do. Right, now I want to get level terrain. I'm just going to level it off. Just down here. Just for the scene area. incredible but it'll look okay. Right now a little bit of a like. Just paint that like. Let me make the like go through here. Yeah. See, I'm just painting it in. I'm using the right mouse key there to lower the terrain. There we go. Now, it'd be nice to have a bit of a path around all the edge, so I'm going to shrink it down a bit. And I'm going to use the level tool. And we're going to level it at about that height. It's a bit rough and ready at the minute. But it'll look okay when it's finished. Ish. Um, don't know whether I want to go all the way. Might as well now started. If you have to do it a bit, you can always. Now, um, we're going to paint a bit of a different floor around here. So, really quick, oops, get the walls. Don't really want the walls there. Doing it again. There we go, really quick and dirty. Let's just put a marker down. Okay, block down. And quickly have a look how that looks. Probably not brilliant. No, not brilliant, but you know, gets the effect. Nice poolside scene. But yeah, it needs a lot of work. Let's get out of that. Right, simply just adding a few bits and pieces normally makes this look a lot better. I mean, I haven't really gone to town with that much. Let's just... Right, 
Right. Let's add a few trees. Trees, trees, trees. Uh, no, oh my god, I can't say that it's foliage. My eyes are terrible. Um, it's gonna have to be palm trees. see them because they're so far away but well you can just about see them in the distance but you can see so it doesn't take too long just to make something that looks half decent and I mean you want for a fair bit more detail and play around put some objects in so I think up a bit but yeah, you can get away with that far of a level and like I say that's took no time at all The only issue is I have to turn all the shadows off and light rays to get it to run at any decent speed. But it doesn't look that much different at the moment because there's not much about. Obviously the trees aren't casting shadows and if you put houses on that, that looks a bit dodgy. So it's good for outdoor scenes at the second. Not so good for the other scenes because you have to turn the lighting on for it to look anything like and it doesn't run. On my system, anyway. Like I say, it's getting a bit aged. But uh, you can only hope it gets better. It's bound to get faster. Right, so now I'm going to add some buildings just for the sake of it. Although I said they didn't look too good, but we'll add them anyway because they look pretty good. It's just me being fussy on the shadows. But we'll perhaps see what I mean. Okay, and we'll just put that down there. There, there we go. Uh, another one there. There. And just for some variety, we'll have him as well. Yeah, I'm going to place it like that. It's going to look a bit same, eh? Can't really do a lot with uh, this amount of buildings, unfortunately. I might have a tree in that one. Right. Um, actually, talking of trees, we'll just put a few more down. Just going to split him out again. do. Um, perhaps not, let's just put a tent in as well. Let's crowd it up. Oops, don't want to do that. Change it back to normal mode. Bit of scenery just to add to it, and as well, why not? Shotgun. Put that down there, and it's a mama for it.
Okay, let's test that. Right. Okay, it's looking quite nice, as you can see. A few buildings to the scene changes it. Of course, oh, I need to alter that a bit. They're um, a bit floaty. doesn't quite suit the scene, looks a bit busy. Yeah, you can see there's some very strange things going on with the shadows. The beta still needs a bit of work here. But that'll change if I turn the shadows up. Boop. There we go. But we've got slow frame rate. What is it? 10 frames per second. It does look nice. Just needs a bit more oomph. Here you can see it's really easy to stick the stuff in. You can see how okay, they're, they're a bit dicey at the minute on the position, so I'll have to lower them down. Hmm, I don't know whether to um, go into that much detail. You can see what to do. But no, I'll do that, I'll do that. Right, so let's just... I'll shift. Arrow around. Which ones were floating? Mm, hard to say. There's two ways of doing it. I'm going to do it the easy way. So, select the building. Um, I think it's you. And that will automatically move, make the landscape position correctly. Come on, pick it up. Go. It look a bit dodgy, but you can you can play around with it. Or you can just simply lower the building. If it's too dodgy. Come on, cross quicker. A while to load. Dooby dooby doo. Here we go. Oh, that looks a bit slow. Um, too much okay. It's happened. Oh, yeah, it's because I've got the shadows on still, of course. Let's knock them off. And there you can see they're not floating, they're just on strange looking islands. Let's go inside. Hey, it's a lot in here. Too bad. Let's go over here a bit. Yeah, not too bad. Like I say, I could be on forever tidying it up, but you can hide that foliage around there or whatever. Or smooth it up. Go in and smooth smooth it around a bit. Make it look less jarring. But you know, you'd want your house built on level land, so it's sort of realistic to that point. Like I say, I've done it really quick. The simple tools just to get it roughly what you want and then you can play around and tweak to your heart's content so yeah i think that's quite enough first person shoot to create it oh no before i um do that let's just show you the skies just to show you what you can do with this um we have dry cloud day take a second to uh sort it out there we go that's instantly changed the look of the scene try another one Night. And there's night. Obviously, you can play around with the light settings in that more to get it better. Um, and last one, I like the sunset. That's quite good. Looks 
quite nice. And yeah, just to show you, and this will completely mess my terrain up as well, but we'll just show you can change the terrains as well. We'll, we'll change it to a completely weird scene with palm trees and ice. There we go. We've now got ice scene. Needs a bit of playing around with. Yeah, nice and easy. You soon be knocking it together, knocking together really good scenes that look pretty nice. And I forgot about the shotgun. Wake up, everyone! I'm here. The chew bomb come. Kick ass. I'm all out of gum. So yeah. Until next time, I'll catch you later.